guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Freibler. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. So today's video, I'm sharing with you my winter skincare routine. As most of you know, I've struggled with acne and still kind of struggle with it. Um, and so these are the products that have been working for me lately. I was going through a spout of more breakouts and now they're pretty much subsided. So I'm very happy about that. And um, I just wanted to share what has been working with me for me lately and what kind of, I think, was causing more breakouts. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every single day until Christmas. I have a full playlist of every single video up until now, so make sure to go watch all of those after this video. So let's get started into the skincare routine. Okay, so I have multiple videos up on my channel about my acne journey, my acne story, how I cleared my acne in 30 days. That was like the most recent one a few months ago that I made, and that was all because of this supplement called balance and I believe also in conjunction with that different gel so I'm both I'm still using both of these um, I take balance every single morning and I really think it's helped with my cystic acne it just balances your hormones and that is amazing for me right now my breakouts have been less cystic and more like clogged pores along the sides right here. As you can see, things are clearing up. This is me with absolutely no makeup on right now. And these are, this is like mostly acne scarring here. And then acne that's kind of just like subsiding. So I think what was irritating my skin, mostly in clogging it and stuff, was I was trying new a new moisturizer because my face felt really dry with the change, change of season since it's getting colder outside. So I was trying a new moisturizer, even though it said it was going to be non-comedogenic. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I believe it was clogging my pores, as well as I was trying a, a new exfoliator because I felt like I needed more exfoliation because um, my pores were getting clogged and things like that. So I was trying new things like that and... Um, a different vitamin C serum and mass and like all this stuff. And then I was like, wait a minute. Remember, Emily, simple is best. So I was like not sure what was going on, what was clogging my pores. I thought for a minute different was kind of causing it. But I was like, no, I've been on this for a while now. Why would it do that? So what end up, ended up happening was I was like, okay, calm down and let's reevaluate and go back to the basics of what I did before and what was really working for me. So... I used to be using the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, and I switched to the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I've used this in the past before, but like I didn't like it as much because it doesn't really remove makeup, like you know, a full face of makeup. I mean, it'll remove traces of makeup and things like that, but it's not gonna like be a makeup remover. And that is fine with me now because I've been using a different product. But I think the main thing was that the foaming facial cleanser was stripping my skin and making it feel really dry. So I will talk about like my whole routine and everything um, as well. But this is one of the products that I really switched out and I think has made a big difference in like only a short amount of time that I've been using it. So I use this hydrating facial cleanser morning and night. But in the morning, sometimes I don't use it because... Unless I like work out or something. If I work out, I always use this. But if it's just a morning where I'm like getting out of bed and I need to put makeup on and I don't really feel like my skin is dirty and stuff like that, then I will use the CeraVe Hydrating Micellar, um, Micellar Water. And this is more like a toner. I've gotten both of these recommendations. Like, I mean, kind of just wanted to try them again because of the Taylor on YouTube, Taylor. She uses both of these and loves them. She's been on Accutane and her acne is like all gone now completely. And she loves both of these. She has dry skin. I have more like normal to combination skin. Like my T-zone is oily, but the rest of my face is normal. So I really, really love this to remove like the gunk that was on my face overnight. And it really, really does. Don't put this on your eyes, though, because it will burn the crap out of them. And I've gone through a full bottle. This is a brand new one that I just picked up. But I went through a full bottle of this, and I really, really like it. So in the morning, I'll use this with the cotton round if I haven't worked out or whatever. And then I also use in the morning, it's really, really simple, the CeraVe. I freaking love this brand, by, by the way, you guys. It's like dermatologist recommended. It's amazing for sensitive skin, everything like that. So 
CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I use this on my body as well. It's just so moisturizing without being sticky or gross. Like it's just really lightweight but also moisturizing. So I use this on my face and then I also go in with the with some rose hip seed oil. So again, the Taylor on YouTube um, uses this and swears by it for getting rid of acne scars and just really helping with moisture in her skin. And so the reason I wanted to switch to the um, hydrating cleanser from the foaming facial cleanser was because um, I used this, or I used my foaming facial cleanser with the rosehip oil when I first got it, and my face still felt tight. Felt like it was really stripped and like not good. And I don't have dry skin. Like I have normal to combination skin. And the Taylor has really dry skin or pretty dry skin. And she just uses this as a moisturizer at night. And I was like, how am I with normal skin not being able to use this as a moisturizer? And I believe it's because of the foamy facial cleanser. Since I've been using the hydrating micellar water at night, I can only, I just use this. So I'll get to that in a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. But in the morning, I use a little bit of this. And then I take a tiny amount of the rosehip oil, like one squirt, one baby squirt of this, and rub it through my hands. And then pat it all over my face. So I don't put a lot of this on because I do put on makeup over top of it. But I don't find that it breaks up my makeup or anything. Um, over top of it obviously I let it sit for a little bit but that's literally all I do in the morning so if I'm lazy and I don't need like I didn't work out or something these are the three products that I use and this rose hip seed oil is from Pura Jor, um, and it's a hundred percent cold press organic rose hip seed oil so make sure you're getting a hundred percent this was on Amazon that I got it and it's like four fluid ounces and it was like twelve dollars or something so it's gonna last me a while I can tell so then at nighttime to remove my makeup, I use these. These are from Olay. Um, I don't remember exactly what they're called, but I will link them for you guys. They're some kind of cleansing cloth, makeup removing cleansing cloth or something like that. And I used to use these back in the day when I was like in middle school or something. They're these dry cloths and they come in that package there. There's like 33 in a pack and it's really affordable and they're dry like this. You run it under water and it starts getting all sudsy, and then you just use it as like a makeup remover, and I really like it because it's nice and moist. Ugh, that word. Has, has a lot of moisture, so it's really easy to remove your makeup. You can re-wet it and then go back over places if you don't like it so sudsy, um, and so I really, really like this. It removes all my eye makeup, my face makeup, beautifully so easily and I don't get any, any like burning or stinging or anything like that so love these to remove my makeup and then I'll go in with the hydrating facial cleanser at night as well and really work that in wash my face all nice and good with this and then at night I put on different gel so I do a little pea size of this you don't need very much and I put this all over my face this is really gonna help um just exfoliate the skin. It's a retinol or retinoid, I think. I, I know there's a difference between them. And um, so this is really gonna help exfoliate the skin and help with pigmentation, acne, um, wrinkles, all that kind of stuff. And I have been using this now for probably four months and I really, really love it. So I use this at night, just a pea size amount. Okay, so I use different after I use the cleanser, and then all I do is go in with a pump of the Pure Jor 100% rose hip seed oil. Super simple, you guys. At night, these are the three products I use. So self explanatory, so easy. I would use this alone for moisturizer in the morning, except for the fact that I put on a makeup and I don't want it to be too oily underneath. This isn't like an oily oil. It's not gonna break you out. I don't think if you have acne prone skin, it hasn't broken me out, hasn't broken out the Taylor, hasn't broken out Hana on here. I, she is another person that I watch who has had acne um, and she's on Accutane right now and uses this and loves it. So it's not gonna break you out. It's like more of a drier oil. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, these are the three products. So it's like a very, very simple skincare routine. Everything is nice and affordable and easy to get your hands on. I really think those are the products that have like helped calm my skin down again and they're really working for me, getting that hydration back in the skin. So like I said, I do use Balance. I use this every single morning with a meal. I take four of these and then lately for the past like week, 
week and a half, I've been I've been drinking more green tea. So green tea has a lot of health benefits. It really helps with a ton of things, but I know it also helps with your skin. I love green tea. I just love tea in general. So I've been drinking this a lot and I don't know if this has an effect on my skin. I mean, I'm sure it does because it's a good it's good for your body, good for your health. So I've been drinking one glass at least every single day and I usually like it iced so I use two tea bags and I'm just showing you this so you can have a visual of what I drink. This is just the Bigelow. This is just the Bigelow brand. I'm sure any green tea will work um, but I make sure I drink one of those every single day and I, I haven't gotten any new acne in the past like week, week and a half so that's amazing and then about once a week i like to use a charcoal mask or a mask of some sort so i really like the indian healing clay mask this is really really great for drawing things out of the skin it's 100 percent indian healing clay um betonite clay it that's 100 percent of that so really like that that's super cheap on amazon or at a health food store but i also really love the banish masks so the activated charcoal clay mask, again, is really, really nice from Banish. This one has more ingredients in it, but I also really like this. I mix this with water. And then I also really like the Pemkin Enzyme mask from them. So I use like a mask once a week-ish. Um, and then that's all I do for my skincare. It's really self-explanatory, really easy and simple. And I think that's what my skin thrives on. I need to stop like trying new products. I was really good at it there for a while, but then my skin was kind of breaking out and I was like freaking out trying to solve it instead of just simplifying things. So if I have one thing of advice for people who struggle with acne and things, make sure you're keeping it simple. And also introduce one new product at a time so that you know what's actually breaking you out. So, like I said, this is my skin right now. You can see it up close in some of the clips as well where I show you my skincare routine. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out more Vlogmas videos on my channel. I will link the playlist down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Bye, guys.